channel and here's another well let's find out video I guess I have two sway bars here in my hands well here is one this is a factory M tech or M sport suspension version of the bar this is a 26.5 front sway, sway bar which has this middle section which is a smaller diameter section and uh, this is not a heavy bar but I don't know how heavy it is because I have never put it up on the scale. Here in my hands I have a solid aftermarket 29 millimeter sway bar and this one is definitely heavier and this bar is is solid. So, but I guess the point is uh, is finding out how much heavier a solid bar is compared to a tubular construction original OEM sway bar. I guess let's get a scale and put this tune on, on that scale and figure out how what the difference is going to be. And to have a fair comparison, I have to put these brackets on. This is uh, that aftermarket bar is M3 version, so it uses different mounting brackets. Guys, I just could not figure out a better way of doing this. I got my scale and I got two jars, two oil cans on the scale, and I cannot set a zero. This is a stupid scale. So 12.1 is our baseline. And this factory bar that goes on it, it's a uh, 20.4. I probably should be writing it down. So I got a better idea. I'm going to be writing down numbers. The base number is going to be 12.1. So I'm going to put this bar on it, and it's a uh, 20.4. So OEM. 20.4 and then this heavy piece of uh, 24 even 24.0 so here I got the final numbers and here they are so I guess I'm going to uh, elaborate a little bit on this so let's scroll through these numbers real quick I have uh, Imperial and metric, so the original OEM 26.5 millimeter M tech or M sport bar is 8.3 pounds, and that translates into 3.7 kilograms. So on the other hand, our aftermarket bar is 29 millimeters and it is solid, 11.9 pounds, which is uh, 5.4 kilograms. The difference is not that significant. I was expecting something that is uh, at least twice as different. But it's not. The difference is only 1.7 kilograms. 1.7 kilograms is almost 50% of the original base weight, which is 3.7. Uh, kind of close. So the aftermarket bar is pretty much 50% heavier than the original OEM tubular construction 26.5 sway bar. So that's the numbers, there you go. You might ask if this is a significant number or the difference is actually making any uh, effects the, the way the suspension works and all. Uh, I guess to some extent, depending on uh, what you're trying to gain by doing all uh, weight reductions or in this case if you go aftermarket you're going to be adding to your car 1.7 of uh, kilograms of unwanted weight uh, do you really want to do that is it worth really doing is it going to be significantly you know affecting your suspension uh, in a sense is your sway bar going to improve your handling or is this 1.7 kilogram going to really be noticeable uh, so I guess in the big picture, the difference is really insignificant. So uh, uh, I don't think it would be really noticeable. But uh, if you're trying to save every kilogram doing some kind of, a, I don't know, race car build or whatever, that is a significant 3.6 pounds, almost 4 pounds. Like I said, it, it would be uh, not that easy to save almost 4 pounds by for example, removing some unwanted uh, pieces of interior or replacing hardware with aluminum or titanium. So in my opinion, 1.7 kilograms, 
on the front end, hanging in front of the front axle, uh, and attached and being attached attached to the suspension. That is uh, more or less uh, an important difference, I guess. Are you going to notice this driving on the streets? Most likely not. This is a number that is uh, a hardly that number would hardly mean anything if you're just driving your car on the street. Besides, if you throw some heavy bot 19 inch wheels on your car, then you surely wouldn't care about 1.7 kilograms of a difference uh, on a sway bar. So that's the numbers. That's my conclusion. It's up to you what you want to do with your car or uh, if you want to really consider these numbers. But I'm not keeping that bar personally. Um, actually, I went back to, uh, to a tubular M3 sway bar in the front. So um, I removed uh, that aftermarket 29 solid, adjustable, kind of proved itself to be kind of useless to me. And I'm back on, uh, well, I'm not back because being back would be installing this. So I'm not, I have not installed that. I actually installed uh, an M3 28.5 millimeter, I think, uh, OEM front sway bar. So that's my current setup and, uh, and I'm happy with it. Yep, that should be it for now. I really don't need these glasses anymore. So I got my final numbers in and here they are. I guess, what do we see here? <laughs> so I got my final numbers in. So I got my final, I got my final numbers in. <laughs>